Hi, welcome to the second part of this series. In this clip, we are going to start off by doing the necessary React setup, as well as create components, form, and a few other necessary things. So let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do here, so we are going to create a, a repo template. So I will click on this plus sign. Then I can now search for React template. And see now we have React JS. So we are going to make use of this uh, JS replica template. So I click on it. Then I can change the title. I will call it React Paste Tag. Then I can now click on this Create Repo button. All right, so we have everything available, all the setup for React now. So the first thing I will need to do now is to create a folder. And then I will call the folder component. So this is where all our components will be located. So our components folder is successfully created here. And then the next thing I'm going to work on now is our CSS. So if I should open this tab now, as you can see now, we have this CSS. So we are going to remove everything that comes, the CSS that comes with React. So I'm going to remove it. Then I'm going to make use of a W3 CSS. So if I should go to W3 CSS.com, then I go to W3 CSS, then let me click on try it yourself. Then I copy this uh, URL, then I paste it. Uh, the whole CSS available for us to copy now. Then I can now paste everything I copy in our W3 CSS here in our app.css file. So I think we are done for that aspect. I can now close this tab now. All right. So having done that, so inside our component folder, then I can now create a file. Let me just call the file a dot a s x here. Then, all right, the file has been successfully created. Then I can now add my component. So the first thing I will do, let me declare a variable call a, and of course this is going to be a component, a functional component. It's going to be an arrow function. So I have this and I can now export default and a and we can now return have the return function here. And in our app.jsx file, then I can now include our component here, the root component, we call it app, right? So let's import this from our component. So I will say import. Let me just copy from here. I have a import a from component as a okay. should be there. So let me just do something here. As a if let me just say hello but let's run and see.
so everything is working fine i think the next thing we need to do now is to work on our ui i mean uh, the form i want to create the form now so let me first of all close this uh, tab all right so what i will do now is to have another div here then have a last name wtv container and we have a wtv row and another div we have a A W T V container also, and W T V inside this div, we have this this three, and last name W T V. let just call it payment let me change this to a survey green right then another div after thing okay after this div and we have a w okay sorry class green container w3 then let me copy this div again w3 container then here we have half so be the system so let me copy what we have here as you are right looking bad so let's continue now then inside this uh, div have uh, another div last name last name we have a container w3 container here first class and then we have a w3 add four and then we now have our form now Inside our form, let's have another div. Then inside the div, we have label. We have a HTML. Then we call it a email. Here we have email. And we have our input text attributes text let's have the email class name we have a WTV input our ID ID attribute have a email and no repeat all right so you can see our input now then let's copy again I have amount here let's have text here then amount all right i'm going to have amount here and here we have a opening tag here. If right, you can see we have our email amount here. Well, this should be in inputs. <laughs> Sorry for the mistake. Input 
All right. Okay, better now. All right. So the next one now, let me copy from here once again. The last name. Let's have the first name first. First name. This. Then here we have a last name. Of course, here last name. Let me copy from here. Then it's it here, which is last name. All right. I think that's all we need. Then let's quickly work on our button. Mm, maybe let me just say W T R. Okay. Um. W T R. For that. Okay. I think it should be for that. Alright, okay. Alright, then WTV. This is large. Alright, okay. So let me quickly do it for the, the many parts of the input. It here. Let me say, let me add it to this part. In the amount on also amount in the, for the email also. Okay. I think everything is nice now and it's looking far better now. Okay. So we are done with our form now. So the next thing we need to do now is to work on our stage. So we will work on that in our next clip so if you find this tutorial useful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so thank you very much for watching